U.S. make new to Yellowstone National Park supervolcano. It's one of the world's largest supervolcanoes, and new research from the University of New Mexico has yielded a breakthrough discovery that could help geoscientists better predict eruptions and save lives. So it's really gratifying to see that come to fruition, said Tobias Fisher, professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at UNM. Fisher teamed up with a colleague to investigate Yellowstone National Park's volcanic system. Professor Brandon Schmant is the one who really started this project. He's a geophysicist, and he wanted to investigate the composition of the magma, and where the magma is underneath Yellowstone, and especially how much volatiles are in the magma right now, Fisher said. Fisher said Yellowstone's last volcanic eruption was about 70,000 years ago, and there's still a system under the park today. So the hydrothermal system has all these beautiful geysers, hot springs, mud pools, that draw millions of people every year to come see the park and see these features, Fisher said. The team's study led them to look at earthquakes that they themselves produced with a big truck. With that detailed geophysical study, they were able to do really good CT scans of basically what's underneath Yellowstone, and they found that there's a very gas-rich volatile layer above the magma chamber. Fisher said that when it erupts, it's driven by new magma coming into the system. They used samples from Yellowstone on a machine in one of UNM's labs to learn more. As the magma rises to the surface, gases like water and CO2 come up from that magma at shallower levels. Those gases migrate to the surface, and then eventually collect at certain depths. The group figured out exactly where that buildup is happening so they get a better picture of what's going on right beneath our feet. So this is a very detailed picture of the amount of water, the amount of pores, the amount of magma, and where exactly it is under Yellowstone and how big it is. Fisher said the Yellowstone system is similar to the Valles Caldera in New Mexico. Although the Valles Caldera is smaller, it was a supervolcano that produced a major eruption about a million years ago. Science has revealed that the Yellowstone supervolcano is showing signs of being active, which is the most resilient volcanic system on Earth. The study shows that science detected a closed magma chamber beneath Yellowstone National Park that is beginning to move, potentially causing significant geological disruption in the future. The findings of this study will be analyzed extensively in this discussion. Scientific investigations have discovered a hidden magma chamber beneath Yellowstone National Park, which has yielded important geological observations. A layer of molten rock called magma lies beneath the park's surface, and its movement has scientists concerned about the potential for volcanic activity. Scientific imaging methods allow scientists to identify the presence of this hidden magma reservoir. Seismic tomography is an analysis technique that uses seismic waves to produce detailed images of an area subsurface. Scientists discovered the magma layer through years of extensive research and data evaluation. Scientists have determined that the movement of the hidden magma layer beneath Yellowstone's surface influences volcanic activity in the surrounding area. Effective protection of life and property depends largely on the combined efforts of scientists, government agencies, and public participation to respond appropriately to changes in the activity of the Yellowstone supervolcano.